we? Let's stay with fashion. This time, a female designer. Okay. Who also overcame adversity and created a line called FBF. So, FBF. Mm -hmm. Me and my, one of my coworkers, we were out walking, mm -hmm. exercising in the heat, and she was like, man, F being fat. And I was like, F being fat. That's what FBF stands for. Being fat. Being fat. Being fat. There we go. I first started with a weight loss challenge. I wanted to help people be proactive right. in their lives because, again, a lot of times we wait until we're diagnosed with the diabetes, the high blood pressure, to say, I'm going to change my diet. What led to the clothing market? My customers, the members of the challenge, wanted something to wear to the gym. We launched Black Friday 2012, and we sold out. There are a lot of clothing lines. <laughs> And you're sold out like this. Mm -hmm. Is it because it was shocking to see those words on a shirt? Not or just that, but FBF has created community for people who have been left out in the fitness industry, mm -hmm. right? People always tell people who are overweight, go to the gym, work out. But then they don't make clothes for us. We've always been size inclusive from the very beginning. Yeah. So when they put on our clothes, they feel confident to go to the gym and they have a matching set that, you know, looks good and it fits all of their needs. It doesn't roll down. It's not see-through. How'd you get noticed? My cousin is a celebrity hairstylist yeah. out in Atlanta and she was doing Selena Johnson's hair at the time, right? All right world-renowned singer, Selena Johnson, she was doing her hair. And Selena was also on a weight loss journey at the time, and she was like, oh my God, I love your sweatshirt. Where'd you get it from? And she was like, my cousin. And so she literally called me while she was doing Selena's hair. She was like, Selena wants a shirt. And I was like, okay. At the time, she had started doing R&B Divas. Mm -hmm. And so when they do the confessionals on, you know, reality She's TV, the she was wearing the being fat shirt. What sets you in your clothing line apart from others? Size inclusivity, bright colors. We yeah. sell matching sets, which makes it easy to kind of figure out what I'm going to wear. It's like, oh, it's already put together for right. you. It's already going to go well together. We have an amazing compression, which is kind of almost like wearing shapewear. It, right. it supports you. We have prints, we have bold colors. The girls like color. Yeah. And a lot of people say, you know, I would have never worn this. I, I, I would have never worn a crop top to the gym. You've had challenges in your life. Yes. If you don't mind, could you mention some of those? First, being a teen mother, mm -hmm. I was diagnosed with Chiari malformation, which is a brain disorder, about 12 years ago. The brain disorder is what prompted me to do the exercising and walking, because I looked at diet and exercise as a way to get off my meds. Y'all, this is my first time seeing the billboard. Look at it. It's so big. Everybody looks so pretty. And you never oh left Chester. No, I'm still in the city. I got my billboard on exit six. And if you're from Chester, exit six is our, is our you know, that's what we're known for. Exit six is our exit. So I literally put my billboard purposely right at exit six. I wanted people to see that success looks, I'm gonna get emotional. Success does not look the same for everybody. We love it, right? It's so good. If you want to know more, she's actually based in Chester, PA, mm -hmm. but you can also go to her website, fbfbody.com.